Chromebooks have been getting very popular. They've recently surpassed Macs in market share, so many people may be looking to see everything that's possible with them. When talking about Chromebooks, a question that always comes up is, can you play Steam games on them? The quick answer is yes. Yes, you can. However, the experience is very mixed and it most likely won't satisfy you. Google is taking steps to improve Steam gaming, but those improvements haven't been released yet and it's not known when they will come. In this video, I'll talk about my experience playing some games from my Steam library. Also, if you wait till the end of the video, I'll show you how to install Steam on your Chromebook so you can test that out for yourself. I tried all games at 1080p and 720p resolutions, with the exception of some games that would only run in a 4x3 aspect ratio. I don't really like playing games at 720p, but I made an exception in this case, and I was not willing to go lower than 720p. Before I show you some of my gaming experiences, keep in mind that performance will vary for everyone because of the different CPU chipsets in each Chromebook. My Chromebook has an 8th gen i3 CPU with 8GB of RAM, so expect better performance if you have a more powerful CPU and worse performance if you don't. And if you have a Chromebook with an ARM processor, then Steam will not work at all. I'll show you how to find out if you have an ARM processor or not during the Steam installation portion of this video. Also, Linux on Chromebooks does not yet support gamepads, so if that's your preferred method to play games, you're out of luck. Just keep your expectations low for this, because Steam gaming on Chromebooks is not ready for prime time. Yet. So first, I'll try out some of the native Linux games. I'll start off with some simple games, and then get on to some more advanced games. Okay, we're already off to a bad start. I just booted up Sega Genesis Classics Collection and already we get sound stuttering and we haven't even played a game yet. There's a really low frame rate when navigating the 3D menus. Let's see how a game plays. Okay, I get no image at all, but the sound is fine. Let's try another game. Same thing. So this is a failure under Chrome OS. Tanglewood is a modern Genesis game that's available on Steam and played under emulation. The good thing is that the game actually works and is smooth. The bad thing is that Linux on Chromebooks does not support gamepads, so I'm stuck using the keyboard with the game. Limbo's performance was flawless had no issues playing the game. This is a game that you can count on working well. Grab some weapons and get Left 4 Dead 2's performance was pretty decent. I think you can actually have some fun with this game, but there are moments where there will be a stutter that can be off-putting. And for some reason, the game has a blue tint while playing. But for the most part, the game wasn't horrible to play. At first impressions, Borderlands 2 looked like it would be playable. The frame rate wasn't super high, it was floating around 20 to 30 frames per second, but it felt decent. However, that all changes when you are in combat. The major stutters make combat unplayable, but this game gives you a hint of what can be capable if Google can give better hardware acceleration to Linux. Bioshock Infinite is one of the more demanding games I have on Steam. I honestly didn't think this game would even run on my Chromebook. Navigating through the menus is a chore because the mouse is constantly skipping and you can see that movement is really choppy. It gets even worse when beginning a game. I doubt the CPU and GPU on my Chromebook would be able to run this game, even if it was using native Linux. One does not undertake an experiment knowing one has... Saints Row the Third also gave me a bad experience. The frame rate was way too low to make the game enjoyable. Now I'll try out some Windows games. Steam on Linux is capable of running Windows games through their Proton tool. Proton provides a layer of compatibility for games so that they think they are running on Windows. Not all games are supported, but Valve is working hard to get as many games supported as possible. 
If you want to find out if any of your games are officially supported, visit ProtonDB.com and check out its compatibility list. The next two games I'll try are officially supported by Proton. Now this game works excellent. This is South Park, the stick of truth, and I never experienced any issues while playing this game. I'll definitely be keeping this game on my Chromebook. When playing Payday, I got a slightly better experience than Borderlands. Like Borderlands, walking around when there was no action, the game was playable. But when there was action, the frame rate did dip, but not as bad as Borderlands. I didn't play a lot of the game, so things might get worse in later levels. Finally, I'll try out some unsupported Windows games, but they are unsupported for a reason. I tried five unsupported games and none of them worked, except for Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Morrowind was actually working well, but there was a major issue. The mouse would not let me move my character's view more than 180 degrees. There is a chrome flag that is supposed to fix this, but it did not work for this game. Most of the other unsupported games I tried did not run at all. I would click on the play button and then nothing would happen. One game I tried did boot up. That game was Thief Gold, but as you can see, things did not look good at all. So as you can see from my tests, gaming performance can be a hit or miss. 2D games perform the best, and you will probably have some luck with much older 3D games. Chromebooks, as they are built now, do not have hardware that performs well with games as it is. On top of that, Linux on Chrome OS runs in a virtual machine which does not give full access to the graphics hardware on your Chromebook. It does have some hardware acceleration, but currently you're not going to get nowhere near the performance in gaming as you would a native Linux install. You can put your Chromebook in developer mode and install Linux using the Crouton project to get a lot better hardware acceleration, but this disables the Chromebook security. And one of the major reasons of getting a Chromebook is its security. So I'm not willing to compromise the security for gaming. Also, Linux on Chrome OS does not yet support gamepads, so another downside for those who prefer gamepads over a mouse and keyboard. But there is hope to get much better performance with Steam games. Like I mentioned earlier, Google is working on getting native Steam support in Chrome OS. No timeline is given, and it's unknown how well it will work. Until this support becomes official, we can only speculate. If you are dead set on doing some modern gaming on your Chromebook, you can always try cloud gaming services like Stadia and GeForce Now. With those services, you will be able to play games like Cyberpunk 2077, the Assassin's Creed series, and more. Stadia has actually really impressed me with its performance, so I really suggest you try out its one month trial to see if you like it. Anyway, that was my experience with gaming on a Chromebook. If you want to try it for yourself, I'll now show you how to install Steam. But before I do that, Please take the time to like this video if you found it helpful. Also, if you want to be updated with more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. The support will be greatly appreciated. Okay, let's get to the installation of Steam. All the commands I'll be showing you here will be in the description so you can easily copy and paste. Now, make sure you have Linux installed on your Chromebook. If you don't, check out my video showing you how. Now let me first show you how to find out if you have an ARM or x86 Chromebook. This is important because if your Chromebook has an ARM CPU, then Steam will not work and you shouldn't bother continuing. To find out which type of Chromebook you have, open up a terminal window and type LS CPU. On the text that comes up, look at the architecture section. If your Chromebook says x86 underscore 64, then you can continue with the video. If it says something else, then Steam will not work. Okay, so now that we've determined the CPU your Chromebook is running, let's get on with installing Steam. You may want to update sources and packages first by typing sudo apt-get update, then sudo apt-get upgrade. The next step is to modify a file. I use the nano text editor. If you don't have it installed, then you can install it by typing sudo apt get install nano. 
You don't need to use Nano. If you already have a text editor you prefer, you can use that. So to modify the file, type the text below. If you don't use Nano, then just open the file located in that folder. In this file, add this line. Exit and save by hitting Ctrl X, then Y, and then Enter. Now type Then type sudo apt get update. Finally, type sudo apt install steam. Hit Y if you're asked to continue. During the install, you will get a license agreement screen. Hit enter and then select I agree on the next window. When the installation is done, Steam will be in the app launcher. Before running any games, you will want to enable the Chrome flag that allows Linux applications to lock the mouse. If you don't, that you won't be able to do full 360 degree turns in some first person shooters. To do this, open a Chrome browser, type chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags in the URL text box. In the search box, type pointer, enable the result that says pointer lock for Linux applications. Then click restart. Now what's left to do is to open Steam and install some games. By default, Steam enables Windows games that are known to work. For unsupported games, you'll see that the install button will be grayed out for them. If you want the option to install unsupported Windows games, click on the Steam menu, then click Settings. On the Settings window, click on Steam Play. And in the Advanced section, Check off Enable Steam Play for all other titles. Now click OK and confirm a Steam restart. Now this will make it possible to install any game on your Chromebook, but that doesn't guarantee the game will work. So those are my experiences on trying out Steam and also how to install Steam. I hope you have some luck with the games in your Steam library. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.